This thing is super annoying. It is the track for the sliding door on the passenger side, and this is my bed, so it's basically always in bed with me, and it's uninsulated, so it's cold, and it pokes me in the small of my back, and it, I just, I hate it. So I'm going to cover it up with some insulation today, hopefully make it a little softer and not so cold. So my next task is to just finish this side of the van, specifically by the bed, because I need to cut out my mattress and send it to my mom so she can sew a mattress cover for me. And that's kind of like the only uh, priority thing that I have going. So um, I'm going to extra insulate this area by my bed, just because I think that will keep me warmer when I'm sleeping. I had that experience when I was sleeping up by Leadville where this was uninsulated and it was really this wall that was making me cold. It didn't matter that the rest of the van was cold. So I'm going to put an extra layer of foam over this. Sure, this is insulated, but you have this, which is just like a big thermal bridge, right? So, so yeah, we're doing a lot of CAD today, which is cardboard aided design. And I'm going to cut out a piece of foam in this shape and then cover it with some just really thin plywood and finish that plywood. And I think that'll still give me plenty of space to sleep. Okay, that is everything I need to cut the mattress done, actually. And this is how big my bed's going to be. So that's cool, I guess. At its widest point, we are almost at 25 inches, and then it gets much narrower down here by the feet. So at its narrowest point, we're 22 and a quarter about and that should be good enough there is the mattress this is a three inch latex mattress topper actually and i i cut it down and boop, there it is okay so this is so yeah, that was weird. Clearly the audio in this recording got corrupted somehow, and it actually only gets worse as the recording goes on. So I'm going to do a voiceover. Uh, what I'm doing here is removing the rear seat mounting point from the van, and this thing is just kind of like a big, awkward hunk of steel that's, in my opinion, pretty difficult to work around, especially if you're trying to be as efficient with the space as possible. So I decided to remove it on both sides. And the first step is to remove those four screws and the brackets, and then you find all of the spot welds. And I drilled pilot holes with a, a 5 ths titanium coated drill bit. And it, it goes through this soft steel really quickly, actually. So uh, that was pretty easy. If you have a, just buy a new set of titanium coated drill bits and it 
it's actually pretty easy. And then um, you can see I then drilled out the welds with a quarter inch drill bit and that was not big enough. So what I'm doing now is prying really hard on this, this mounting bracket and deforming the, the steel underneath the bracket. So I would not recommend doing that. <laughs> Uh, what eventually worked is I, I stepped it up again to a 5 16 drill bit, and with that, it came off super easily. I almost didn't even need a, a pry bar to get it off to, to break the paint and everything. So that was that was good. And uh, yeah, now that I have it off, you can see there's some, some bare metal underneath, and it's, it's a little rusty. So I'm going to sand that down, hit it with some rust converting primer, and paint over it with some high gloss enamel. You could spend a lot of time finishing this properly, but <laughs> this this piece is going to be underneath the cabinet when my, my build is, is done. So I don't really care how it looks. And then you'll notice I have a bunch of magnets on the outside and I have some on the inside to try to catch all these metal filings. And I also stuffed a rag in the body panel to try to catch some of these metal filings, but it if you're drilling 11 big holes in the side of your van, you're going to get some, some metal down in the body panel, and that could cause rust issues later. I hope it doesn't, but that is a risk of doing this. And then also there's a lot of, a lot of it seems like a lot of the body panels actually meet up at this point. So you're weakening this area, and I don't know if that will make a difference, like if you were to get in an accident or if this will affect the structure of the van long term you know obviously Ford designed it in a certain way and now I'm modifying it so I if you want to worry about something like that you can I don't think it's going to make a bit of difference but anyways that's uh, pretty much all I have to say about that uh, thanks for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one